I'll just give you a bit of an introduction. Um, I joined Connect Childcare as an office manager in 2011. Um, as the business has grown, I'm now the operations manager and part of the senior management team. When I started, there were eight members of staff. We were very close, uh, and today our team dynamics are very strong and we rely heavily on one another. As we've grown, three years later, we now have 40 employees. Uh, one of the problems that we currently for, uh, see and experience is communication to all those 40 employees. So, we support over 1,500 nurseries. We are a supplier to most of the top 30 largest nursery chains in the UK. Every month we exceed our sales targets and in 2014 our turnover was £1 million. Um, in November 2014, the senior management team put together um, a business um, growth plan. Um, in 2016, we actually estimated that we would have 45 employees, 2016-17, 45 employees and have a, a, a £2 million turnover. However, we've, we've, in one month, we've actually exceeded that when we weren't aware, we, we hadn't estimated for it. So we smashed it, we secured a £1.5 million turnover this year. Therefore, the plant isn't fit for purpose. We have to realign it all again. It took us ages to get there. But if we've now got a £1.5 million order to deliver in the next year, how on earth am I going to find time to realign the business plan? So. How will this impact us? Our current operational infrastructure is at risk and currently it won't support the demand. We need more resources. What do you all think? Hands up if you think I should throw resources at it. Yeah, we need to throw resources at it. But also, I think we need to realign our strategies as well. And we need to uh, make sure we're efficient. So currently, the immediate issues we are facing are all these systems that I head up. So we've got IT systems, we've got CRM, Sage, uh, we use Zendesk for our customer services, our development team use Jira, and we use Constant Contact for all of our marketing material. Um, customer satisfaction, that is one of our uh, big reputations. Uh, we do feedback, to our, we do liaise with our customers and we obtain lots of feedback. How do we manage the growth? Well, we've got lots of sales planning, sales forecasting that we need to do. We need to start monitoring and auditing and making sure that we can sustain month by month. The financial impact. Yes, we've got all this money, but how do we manage it? Um, you know, our CEO, he could start saying, oh, I'll buy this system, buy this system. But we need to make sure that we, we make sure that we budget everything appropriately. Quality. We've got very, very good uh, reputation for our quality. We are ISO 9001, um, but how am I going to keep on top of all the audits and assessments when we need to deploy everything? And processes and procedures, we have lots of these. However, I think they all need realigning, really. Um, so we need to make everything slicker, efficient, and more streamlined. And the mind map has helped me identify all these areas that are going to be affected by the growth. So, challenges. We need to refine, but why? What should we refine? How should we refine it? We need to analyse this in order to support the business infrastructure. I've done lots and lots of research over the last two months. Uh, we've done lots of forecasting, uh, we've looked at statistics and measures. Um, our forecast for up to July, which is our end of our financial year, uh, we predicted, this is just normal uh, sales, 
we predicted that we'd have a 20% increase each year. However, the new business that was secured in December hasn't even been included in this forecast. So we need to realign everything and maybe forecast everything. Um, so I'm actually heading up the transformation programme. Um, I presented this to the exec board two months ago, about January it was, um, to look at streamlining the processes and implementations. Um, we've really identified the core areas which need immediate focus. Um, the immediate focus is the sales order system, making sure that we can streamline this because currently we did a value stream mapping exercise and it's taken about 68 days um, to, uh, from, the, uh, from the receipt of the order through to the deployment and training. Uh, we need to use tools and audits to ensure all changes documented, checked and tested. Um, when, I put to, when I started looking at quantitative research, I decided to pick the fishbone diagram, even though I didn't really like it in the class when we looked at it. But I use this diagram in order to pull out all the components. You can't really see here um, on this presentation, but it's in, it's in the uh, additional supporting documentation. Um, this actually frightened me when I started putting everything down. I need to lead the teams on all of these processes and when I saw them on paper I just thought, oh my god, how am I going to tackle all of this? It's just unbelievable. I'd already uh, prepared a SWOT analysis in January as part of the presentation to the exec board members. Um, I thought that I would include it today because um, you can see all the um, background and research I've already been working on. Um, and, you know, we have, in overall in operations, we have lots of strengths. Um, it's well managed and experienced, like me, because I had it up. <laughs> uh, there's good control processes. We have a very good team. I've trained everybody up on every different element of the uh, tasks in the office. So we can change direct, direction very quickly. We've got very good team dynamics. We regularly are audited. Um, we do audit checks every month. Um, the opportunities that we have, obviously we've got increasing profits now. And we've got lots of cash flow around. So maybe we can start investing in paperless technology, improve our efficiencies and customer care, keep building our strong reputation, and start to build an internal implementation team to start support planning and faster deployment of goods. So we need to build on a training curriculum which we've just launched. Uh, we're currently uh, going to use Moodle and um, pull together a, a Connect Training Academy so that all of our customers can go on uh, and be properly uh, accredited for the training rather than us going out on site and uh, doing lots of training. Um, which is causing a lot of uh, extra resources for us. So the weaknesses are, obviously we're all under resource now, we're all trying to deploy everything. So we, you know, a lot of work means an increase in mistakes. The current processes that we put in place two years ago are now too clunky. Um, there's lots of non-value added time constraints which we which we've me measured through the value stream mapping. Um, time management in particular, uh, SMTs are unable to lead and research. I'm still doing my J job, but I'm trying to uh, plan and forecast and you know, lead by example. Uh, the threats are rapid growth impacting on delivery, team dynamics, reputation and demand, uh, lack of appraisals within our HR, um, this will um, increase staff turnover if people aren't properly developed and have a career path. Um, lack of processing departments will threat delivery and customer satisfaction. Also, we've got lots of IT platforms that we need to do a full audit on as well. Um, so, my ideas for this project, where do I start? There were, there were lots of different models um, that we could use, lots of different areas in the business. I looked at uh, TQM, we're currently ISO 9001, but really should we, we, should we be not aiming for ISO 27001 now? Is 
say 27, 27,001. <laughs> Uh, communications model, my little diagram has not come up now. Um, continuous improvement strategies and change management. So, the TQM swap. Um, I looked at it, yeah, we're, uh, we already do a lot of audits and everything and we're quite good at it. I've currently promoted one of the administrators to an office manager. She's now going to start taking on the uh, ISO uh, and a lot of the other tasks that I've been managing. Um, our weaknesses are that we aren't 27,001, um, however we're looking at um, securing, um, a, well we're looking at recruiting an IT business manager to roll this out. Um, threats is time, cost uh, and currently there's only me that's doing the ISO 9001 so I need to share the knowledge across the business. Um, the SWOT for the Lean Initiatives and Improvements. Well, I've got over 25 years Lean Process knowledge already. Um, I've worked in manufacturing, aerospace and um, automotive industries. Um, we've actually, I've just got everybody signed up to do the yellow belts, but yellow belts in Six Sigma. Um, so we're, we're starting on building that now. Um, weaknesses. The knowledge is just in one place, it's in my head, and the time's for to implement it. The opportunities now are for staff to, uh, you know, um, add some training to their um, CVs and their experience and skills. So if I get them on all these lean initiative courses, start on them understanding how to do things uh, more cost effectively and streamline. Um, but the threats are time to implement. Buy-in from the teams, lots of people don't like these new initiatives, and time to conduct regular audits and keep them on track. Uh, communications, um, I've um, just promoted one of the sales administrators to sales and marketing executive now, um, so I'm going to uh, look at you know, building communication in her job description. Um, the weaknesses is she's, she hasn't got knowledge, she hasn't got the theory, and knowledge, so we've uh, recruited her on a marketing course at uh, Preston. Um, current communications are very weak. Uh, for example, we're talking about team dynamics and restructuring and changing people's roles, and somebody were privy to that discussions in a management meeting and thought the person knew and went back out onto the into the office and said, "Oh, you're going to be joining marketing." There's lots of these things going on. Different senior managers are t having talks with other people, the staff and other people are overhearing it. So we need to make sure that there's one method of communication and one channel so people interpret it and receive the messages properly. So there are opportunities to build up knowledge and increase morale across the departments. I think communication is key for that. Uh, to become more structured and trustworthy as a management team as well. Um, and to lead by example, obviously we've got a lot of junior prodigies in the business and we want to set a, you know, a standard so they follow on, follow on our footsteps. Um, so let's have a look at change management. Now, I've been researching change management. Um, I have um, a, a graduate working with me and we're encouraging him to do a lot of uh, looking at change, how change works in the business and things. We've also appointed a, an external consultant who's very um, well thought of in the industry and he's working with us on changing the business. Um, and we've uh, just recruited an implementations manager. So the weaknesses is resource knowledge and readiness because these things take time in, in educating the people that we have. Um, the opportunities are, now we've got this external consultant, is learn from him, learn from the changes taking place. We've won this new deal in Holland, let's see how this works, take us to globalisation, see how the uh, business works um, with overseas and there's lots of things to learn. So I've used lots of concepts such as change management. Um, I've studied the Kurt Lewin's theory which is also in my um, in my assignment and lots of other theories. I've also done a force field analysis and there's lots of other things that you'll find in my pack. Um, I think in instrumentation